Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Nike swoosh logo inside Microsoft Word. And this one on top is the image downloaded from Wikipedia. The bottom one is the logo created inside Microsoft Word. So let's start with a blank document and here I have already pasted the swoosh logo from Wikipedia. So what I will probably do is I will set the format ribbon and I will set the color to be this faded one, so washed out. So I don't, it's not black, so it's not uh, blocking our way. I will zoom in as much as I can and usually inside uh, Illustrator or any other tool we will use a pen tool. We don't have a pen tool here but we have a very similar tool which is called the Freeform Shape Tool. So I will select Insert Shapes Freeform Shape Tool and I will click the very first vertex which is in here. Then I will s click somewhere in the middle like this, continue on the other side of the shape, click here, then click in the middle and the last click will be connecting the last uh, vertex with the first one, so last point with the first one, and we will get a very different looking shape that you know doesn't look like a Nike logo at all. But uh, wait a minute, we will get there. So let's set the outline to no outline and fill to maybe black. And what I will do is I will select more fill colors and make sure that there is a little bit of transparency so I can see the shape below. Then I will right click and select edit points. And for this point, I will right click and select smooth point and I will do the same for this, this point. So I will select smooth point. And you can see that immediately it looks much similar to the swoosh logo. So I will select first point and make sure that those bezier handles are pointing to the right direction. So they are pointing towards the bottom like this. And then I'll do the same for the very right point. So I will make sure that those bezier handles are pointing to the right direction like this. Then all that's missing is making sure to position those two in you know middle points somewhere where it makes sense and where it kind of resembles the the swoosh logo. And you know it's not only about moving those middle points, but of course at the same time making sure that the rest of the shape looks fine. So I will maybe make this a little bit longer. I will make those handles a little bit smaller, move it more to the left. Then I will make it a little bit longer and bigger. You know, when working with Bezier curves is often a trial and error if you want to replicate the very, uh, some exact shape like this. I will probably move this more to the left and I'm pretty happy with the bottom part of the logo. I can probably spend more time to make it more similar, but just in order to make this tutorial short, I will probably end here with this shape. And for the top part, I still feel that I may change the fill opacity to a little bit more, you know, like this, so I can see the bottom shape. Maybe I will change the color as well, so I can see it better. And you can see that this should be like a bigger curve, going like this. Maybe even better, even bigger like this. Okay. You can see a lot of, lot of clicking and the problem with working with those Bezier curves inside Word is that you cannot, when you have the point selected, you cannot just move it with your arrow keys. You have to use your mouse and then it's snapping to different things. So sometimes it's quite hard to get your shape right. And I believe that I'm, I'm just making it worse. I should probably stop here when it kind of looks similar. I may make this a little bit longer. Okay, I kind of like this shape. So I will zoom out and I will move this to the bottom. I will change the color to be black. And of course, without any transparency, so transparency set to zero. And I will also reset the colors for the first logo. So I will select format picture and for the color corrections, I will set hit reset. So here we have it, a nice Nike swoosh logo inside Microsoft Word. So that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. Just a sneak peek what we might do in the future. Here is another version of the Nike logo. Also, of course, done in Microsoft Word. And that's really it. Thanks for watching.